Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on another art journal page in my Jane Davenport uh, canvas journal. And uh, as you all know, autumn is here, so I'm going to design an autumn page. I love autumn colors, uh, so I was looking forward to this period of time so that I can use these colors. Uh, I'm starting with my face stamp from Jane Davenport. Uh, this is a stamp that I really like because you, ca uh, you can uh, have different uh, faces actually because there are options of uh, eyes, noses and lips uh, so you can pick and choose and have different looks each time. I'm using my Versamark Sepia color uh, ink pad to stamp my images because I don't want it uh, black I'm going to have a uh, the tones of autumn like browns and uh, yellows and uh, dark reds, uh, these kind of uh, colors. And uh, as I go I'm choosing uh, among the noses which one I want, uh, the eyes and lips. And the idea is to have uh, the hair going up and having some leaves in the hair uh, of the autumn colors and I will have some gold accents as well. Also, you will see that my sentiment is also from a poem. Uh, so I thought having a girl with flowing hair goes well with a poetic uh, look. While I stamp, I can also tell you, you will find list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as usual. So after I finish my face, I'm just outlining where I want the hair to flow. Uh, just drawing the borders of it with a pencil and then uh, you I will use my Versamark uh, pen actually this is a pen that has a brush tip and a normal tip uh, just to use it uh, for uh, small areas or for details to be able to emboss what I am doing is I'm drawing strings of hair because I want some gold uh, hairs, uh, hair strings in between the hair of her. So I'm just uh, drawing it with this pen and you will see that I will uh, use gold embossing powder to have these gold strings. I finished uh, my first uh, strings. Uh, I will see after I uh, put the embossing powder if they are enough. I'm using a Ranger embossing powder, Princess Gold. I really like this gold color. Uh, and uh, I clean the places that I don't want the powder with my uh, dry brush. It's quite easy to do so. Now that I know where I drew the strings, I can complete with others. It was quite hard to see <laughs> where I drew, where I didn't. Now I will heat set uh, this uh, gold embossing powder, creating my gold, gold strings of hair. I see some areas are empty, so I'm just drawing it again and I will uh, heat set it again. Now that I'm happy with it, I will start coloring this hair uh, with uh, beautiful autumn colors. Uh, I'm using my Distress Oxide uh, inks uh, because of two reasons. One, they are much easier to apply because they have some pigment uh, ink in them. And uh, also when you splash water, it creates a very nice effect uh, that I want to do as well. You will see the colors I'm using uh, on the screen while I'm using them. Eventually I will go back and forth uh, in between the same colors. And I will leave you with music while I'm doing this uh, enjoyable coloring.
now that I'm finished I'm using uh, just a dry paper towel to clean uh, the embossed areas from ink uh, and they resist so they're all gold in between I'm spraying a little bit water as well uh, just to create this nice effect that comes from the oxide inks I'm really happy with the result so now I can move to the background uh, I'm using a peeled paint a distress oxide again to give color to the rest of the page I think this uh, tone of green and the other tones that I used on the hair goes uh, very well with each other I will color all the rest of the page with this one and uh, later on with vintage photo I will go around the borders and darken it up a little bit more. some background uh, stamping as well this is a script stamp from Penny Black and uh, you can use whatever uh, is in your hand uh, I'm using again the sepia color Versa, Mark, uh, Versa Fine ink uh, to go around uh, my page uh, I'm not uh, doing hard edges curling up the um, stamp and uh, I'm again splashing some water to have this beautiful effect and uh, using a dry paper towel to take the damp. Now I will prepare some other elements. Uh, I'm just using my Versamark ink, pack, ink pad on a, a blank page, a white cardstock and I'm using the same uh, embossing powder, gold color. Uh, covering all the page because I'm going to do some die cutting I will die cut autumn uh, as a word uh, from a uh, alphabet uh, die uh, that I will show you later and then I will cut uh, some small leaves uh, from a, a die set that I love from Marian designs so after I uh, heat set it I will show you this is the leaves, little leaves that I have from Marian Designs and you will see later that I will uh, uh, put it uh, into uh, my girl's hair. Now it's time to color my girl's uh, face. I'm using my Copic markers. I'm not an expert in uh, Copic markers at all. Uh, I have them and I use them from time to time to color my images. I'm more, much more comfortable with pencils, uh, however I chose to work with Copics today and uh, when I put this color on the face uh, I knew it was darker than uh, how I wanted it, uh, however it's okay, uh, we'll go with it, I'll just cover it uh, and uh, later on I, uh, as I went on and on to uh, give some shadows and shading uh, I actually decided to move to a very dark uh, skin tone that I didn't do before so it would be nice uh, to have a change so here I keep on uh, shading and shading uh, these parts of the face is uh, darker uh, so I'm using my colorless blender as well to be able to blend uh, the colors I will give her green eyes uh, to go along with my background
this is the moment I decided to go completely much more darker uh, but uh, unfortunately I forgot to hit the record button so I did it myself basically I used more brown colors uh, and I gave uh, her cheeks uh, some blush with red now I will give some more interest to the background and more autumn cues uh, I love this stencil from Tim Holtz uh, it's uh, from last year's collection if I remember correctly and I'm using same vintage photo uh, distress oxide uh, to go around uh, the page with this stencil uh, this is from a mini collection uh, so it 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 contains uh, two more designs in total three stencils but you can uh, buy it in a bigger format uh, alone as well and it's time to stick my sentiment I printed my sentiment with my label maker machine uh, this is a very cheap machine I think it's uh, around nine dollars and it's on Amazon very easy to reach you can just write whatever you want and then print it uh, and uh, it comes as a sticker you just remove the backing and uh, it becomes very easily whichever sentiment you want on your page as I said before my sentiment is actually a poem uh, so I will read it to you and the Sun took a step back the leaves lulled themselves to sleep and autumn was awakened it's from a poet called Raquel Franco so I'm going to write her name uh, down below uh, the quote as well I really loved it uh, and uh, it inspired me to do this uh, poetic uh, autumn page also this is the alphabet die from XCAT that I used to uh, die cut this uh, word uh, autumn uh, from the gold uh, embossing that I did before uh, you saw me my apologies again I uh, didn't press record when I was sticking these leaves uh, I showed you the die cut that I took uh, to uh, uh, cut these leaves with my die cutting machine all I did is really stick them on the hair randomly like this to have a nice effect finally I did some gold splashes with my Liquitex uh, gold ink and uh, the with that the page uh, was finished uh, I really like it uh, all the colors uh, that I have here uh, the autumn colors the browns and the greens and uh, dark yellows oranges and reds uh, with gold uh, so I hope you enjoyed my page and watching this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me comments or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more autumn inspiration I will put the link down below to my page that I did last year as well or you can see it here thanks for watching and see you next time